everybody welcome back to thunder rc i've got my italian full m2c beef cake build versus my techno empty 410 full m2c cake build this is a video you definitely want to see it's going to be epic we're here at a skate park it's a little windy so i do apologize about the wind noise we're going to do our best here we're going to rip these things up all right so i also want to talk about my future plans i know you haven't seen the x max in a while i've been working on it I've got some amazing M2C upgrades that are going on. 8 millimeter thick chassis brace and their new hubs. Amazing stuff. So I'm just getting a new servo put in and some other stuff. So stay tuned for that. Also, I want to mention out a good buddy of mine who is on the Team Corrali team testing the brand new Kronos XTR like me. Three Sons RC. Check out his channel. Uh, here's his thumbnail of his latest video. It's a great guy. Excellent basher, and you'll see more footage of the Kronos XTR in action, and subscribe to him as well. Let's get to it. This is my first time running the Techno on 6S. Oh, I can't wait. All right, y'all, I am not happy. This is the third servo that this MT-410 has killed. My buddy Jeremiah has had the same problem. I, I have not even been bashing this truck very hard. And, and the servo shot. Now, I know some of y'all are gonna say, oh, your servo's backwards. You flip around. No, it's backwards on purpose because of the M2C racing chassis. It has to be backwards to fit this long tooth servo horn. So, I don't know why it keeps killing servos, but yeah, so. That's, this is not a comparison video anymore, it's Italian video.
that's it we're done okay looks like i snapped a rod in but this isn't an armor shock it's a uh zd shock i had on here and i think that's it i might have popped a pin out somewhere in here no big deal servo still in good shape yep okay so that was kind of short-lived but i had a good time really unfortunate that the techno crapped out on me right in the in the bash um you know i i don't know what's going on with this truck i don't know what i'm doing wrong ever since i put this thing together i've had bad luck with the servos uh, first you guys told me it was backwards it was backwards because on the stock chassis it's actually supposed to be the other way but then you told me oh no it needs to be flipped because of the m2c chassis and so i flipped it and i burned up my first servo and then i had my buddy jeremiah come over who's a techno expert and he put it in and he programmed the servo and he did all the endpoints and all of that jazz and said this is it and here we are three sessions in with the techno and that servo is shot and this is a brand new $60 servo. And uh, if this truck keeps being a servo eater, y'all, I'm unfortunately probably going to get rid of this thing because I don't like a truck that eats servos. Now, I, I'm not trying to dog on the truck. I really like the truck. I like the way it drives. I like the way it handles. It's a great stunt truck. It's a great platform. It, it handles amazing. It, the suspension's super dialed on it. I get why you like it. I totally understand. It's a great basher. But I've had bad luck with it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I have not had the best time of my life with this truck. And I, I personally, I'm starting to think it's a servo eater. My buddy Jeremiah has had four servos go out in his as well. Now, two of those are crappy Traxxas ones because he burned the other good ones up. And he didn't have a good servo, so I threw that in. But still, uh, I've never seen a car kill servos so much. For example, my Arm Italian. I've been running this Power Hobby servo in there for like six months. And it takes it. I've never stripped a servo in the Italian. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because the bell crank system and all this is real tight and close together. And then if you look at this design, see how much further spread out that is. Uh, I'm not sure. I really don't understand. But in the Italian... Or any of my armas, I have never burned a servo up. And I mean, even cheap servos. So there's something going on here. But that's all I'm going to do. I'm going I'm to quit ranting on the techno. Uh, please, give me your thoughts, your feedback, and comments. I really would love to hear from you. Uh, maybe some advice on what to do with the techno to keep it from eating servos up. Uh, <laughs> I need your help. Okay? And uh, I, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, speaking of the Italian, all right, this thing is a complete weapon. It's a beast. Obviously, with the full M2C setup, this thing's a tank. And it was romping like crazy out there. I was running the Kronos tires on it. I do like them. They, they have a lot of good ballooning. Just ride them out. And uh, with the gearing I have on this truck, it's great. This truck does amazing. I did manage on a double bump flip attempt because it was really windy out there. I, I just couldn't nail it. I thought, I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it. And uh, yeah, I kept coming on the side and hitting bad. But ended up popping a rod in in the front shock there. And this isn't a standard armor shock. This is a ZD shock that I had lying around. Um, not a big deal. I don't even think the rod's bent. And it's not. So just a rod end. And... Uh, I think the rest of the truck is fine because this thing literally is a tank. This is probably one of my strongest cars that I own. You can see there's no slop in the arms. And uh, this truck just takes it all day long. It's a beast. I love this Italian. This is one of my favorite rigs of all times. Of my eight scale trucks, platforms, this is my favorite rig. The only thing that even comes close to it would be my Outcast 6S EXP, which, by the way, I have, and I'll show you. I'm rebuilding. This is my Outcast 6S, now full M2C. Uh, I do have the shock towers, just haven't put them on yet. But you see I've got the M2C shock standoffs. I've got the M2C chassis, M2C chassis braces, M2C motor mount, which is super awesome. Great job and design that Mitch and Avery put together. Just look at that. Um, this thing is going to be epic. 
epic. So the same build as the tie-in, just shorter wheelbase. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be running 2050 kV success. I believe that's a 19 tooth pinion. So this thing is going to be unreal. It's going to be like quads and five backflips all day. Double standing backflips. Uh, this is actually, these two rigs are my favorite eight scales of all time. I would say that I've I have enjoyed the Kronos XTR a lot, y'all. I haven't had a whole lot of chance to drive it just since I just got it. And I got those arms ordered. They were actually really cheap. They were really easy to find on eBay. If you're struggling to find parts for Team Corrali, there's a lot of them on eBay, y'all. Check it out. I can show you a link in the description down below where I bought those arms. And uh, the Team Corrali is awesome so far. I've just really enjoyed it. There's more footage of that coming up. And uh, yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching. You know what to do. I don't have to ask you. Enjoy. Peace out.